Coming up on this edition of the ZTV Sports Report, the men's soccer team took on Wake Forest Saturday night. Did they keep their NCAA home unbeaten streak alive? The UA football team welcome in the Central Michigan Chippewas this weekend. Could they pull off their second win of the season? And basketball season is rapidly approaching. What's the buzz on this year's men and women's teams? All that and more coming up on the ZTV Sports Report. Welcome into the ZTV studios. It's the Sports Report back with you for another week of everything Akron Sports. I'm Stacy Salvi alongside my co-host and friend DJ Johnson. Thanks Stacy. the verdict's still out on that front part. Oh whatever. Wake Forest rolled into town this weekend hoping to upset the seventh ranked Zips. The Demon Deacons were the first ACC team to play at Akron in 18 years. Wake Forest entered the matchup 8-6-2 and, and hoped to take down the 12-2-2 Zips on their home turf. Akron comes in this one with a big advantage over the Demon Deacons, but they have played some of the nation's top teams. Saturday was also senior night for Luke Holmes as well as Michael Balgan and Matt DeGillis. Into the action, Wake Forest kept the Akron offense fairly silent through most of the first half as the Zips failed to get on the board early. Now, let's be realistic, you can't keep the Zips off the board for too long as Thomas Schmidt takes the rebound and ooh, sneaks it in the left corner. Zips lead 1-0 at half. The Demon Deacons would respond in the 64th The Sean O'Coley just gets it past keeper David Mavis. The Zips, well, they answered as Scott Caldwell's corner is headed in by Ronaldo Brennis, giving UA the 2-1 lead. Wake would respond 11 minutes later in the 86th as Sam Fink rainbows it over Mavis to knot it up at 2. Now the game would go into overtime, golden goal rule in effect, but neither team could find the back of the net, ending in a 2-2 tie. Before hosting the MAC tournament November 11th through the 13th, the men's team will wrap up their regular season with a home game against Michigan State. But first, let's check in with the head coach, Caleb Porter, for his thoughts on the Wake Forest game. Well, I'm, I'm proud of our performance tonight. I thought we deserved better. I thought we did enough to win the game. I thought we were, uh, you know, they were a very good team. I thought they they fought hard as well, and uh, that was a... That was a NCAA tournament type soccer game and we knew going into it that this would be a measuring stick for us it'd be great preparation going into the into the postseason Wake Forest is a, is a very good team very well coached they play all the top teams in the country um, they're a lot better than their record uh, the, their losses this year have been been against some of the best teams in the country and we knew we knew it would be a difficult game but I thought our guys rose to the challenge I thought they did everything I asked them to do they followed the game plan. I thought they fought hard, um, and I thought we, we scored two great goals. Um, you know, the only uh, disappointing part was I, I thought we gave up a couple soft goals. Remember to check out our Twitter page and give us your thoughts on the Zip season so far. Now we're going to toss it over to Dee and David, who give us the top 10 college coaches poll rankings. Thanks, guys, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting edition of Zip's Update here on the ZTV Sports Report. I am D. Harris alongside my co-pilot, David Coy. Man, are you ready to get started? D, what am I not ready? Let us start out with what we do best and give you the top 10 in the nation for men's soccer. In 10th place is Boston College jumping three spots to get into the top 10, followed by 9th ranked Indiana. We then find UCLA with a record of 12-4-1, ranked at number 8. At 14-2-2, Connecticut drops two spots to number 7. And finally, at number six is where we find our University of Akron Zips, who move up one spot with a record of 12, two, and three. Pretty interesting so far in the rankings. I am sad to see our Akron Zips are no longer in the top five, however. You got that right, buddy, but I think I'll take it from here. South Florida and Maryland sit at the five and four spots, holding a 13, two, and two record and a 12, two, and two record, respectively. Coming in at number three is North Carolina's Tar Heels, and they move up one spot with a 13-2-2 record, followed by Creighton, who is now 15-2-0 over the year. 
New Mexico takes the number one spot for the first time this year with a record of 15-0-2. Well, with all the changes in the standings, I'm excited to see how things are going to be looking for the next week, especially for our University of Akron Zips. I'm with you on that one. There are definitely some interesting shifts this week. The University of Akron Zips won their regular season MAC championship, and once again, they'll be the first seed in this year's MAC tournament. Also, this week is a first because for the first time in three weeks, an Akron player has not been named MAC Player of the Week. Instead, Hartwick's Greg Mather was earned the honors, and congratulations to him, but I hope I don't seem too biased when I say I hope to see another Akron player earn this honor. But it's time for some Zips trivia. Oh yeah, let's get to it. What former Akron quarterback was drafted by the Cleveland Browns in 2005? 